My name is John Slipik, and I'm an Applications Engineer here at Hawk Rig Systems. Today I'm here to give you a complete high-level overview of all the product offerings from Griveworks. As you can see, Driverworks comes in three different flavors. Driverworks Express really comes into play for basic entry-level automation. The mid-grade product, Driverworks Solo, excels at automating repetitive CAD design tasks meant to lean out an engineering department. Finally, if your goal is complete enterprise-level automation, then Driverworks Pro is really what you should be looking at. Let's take a deeper look at each of these. Jarvix Express is really about getting your feet wet and thinking about all the possibilities of design automation. The best part is you can use it right now, since it is included within every suite of SolidWorks and runs directly within the software. Jarvix Express will allow you to do simple automation, but it lacks a farm designer or a good rules builder, and you can't create documentation with it. But by far, the most limiting aspect is you have very little control over where and how your files are being saved. If you plan to use it for production, it might become a little bit messy. Once you reach that wall, it's time to start thinking about the next level of Driverworks, and that is Driverworks Solo. Driverworks Solo is also integrated with SolidWorks, which inevitably is actually one of its main drawbacks as it will in fact consume a SolidWorks license. But depending on your needs, this is probably okay, because Driverworks Solo is really about automating the engineering department anyways. It's very good at pushing repetitive design and grafting work out the door. So instead of using expensive engineering staff to configure orders for production, you can have Driverworks handle those repetitive tasks for them. And then they can get back to challenging design problems, which is really the work we're all meant to be doing anyways. Driverworks Solo comes with a full form designer, which allows us to develop rich user interfaces for our end users to interact with. There's also a rules builder, which makes building out your logic and rules a much easier task, even for a beginner. Writing rules here feels more like you're writing Excel formula, so you don't need a background in Visual Basic or C Sharp to do it. Additionally, with Graphic Solo, we can now create auxiliary documentation, such as quotations and bills and materials. The best part here for you, however, is that it does come with a 30-day free trial. I recommend you take advantage of this no matter which level of Driverworks you're looking at. Just make sure you have time to use it and you're not getting started on day 28 of your trial. The final flavor of Driverworks is Driverworks Professional. The best way I can summarize this offering is instead of simply automating the engineering department, we can now automate the entire enterprise. It's no longer just a CAD design automation tool. Think of anything at all in your business you want to automate, anything at all. It's very likely we can accomplish it with Graverick's Professional. There is a very stark contrast between Graverick Solo and Graverick's Pro, which makes it very hard to explain in the short amount of time. But a few of the improvements include generative modeling tasks, an expanded set of new user interface tools, more documentation options such as Excel and Word documents, and the capability to interface with any database you can imagine. Lastly, there is also a huge increase in the amount of functions you have access to for rule building. Even if all you need is internal engineering automation, these functions will save you so much time just building your automation that it really is worth considering. As you can see from this graphic, Graverix Pro consists of several core modules which allow us to operate in a multi-user environment. Since we are no longer simply automating the engineering department, we now have the capability to put our automation in the hands of anybody at all, anywhere in the world. For example, we may want to put our automation in the hands of an order entry or sales team instead of just engineering. Or maybe you like your end customer to be able to configure their own product themselves directly on your website. It is all possible. Driverix Administrator is essentially the automation development tool. This is a base product that everybody needs before doing anything else. On the lower left is Graverix User. Think of this as a read-only viewer that we install onto a computer. It allows people to run your automation, and that is it. Over on the bottom right, we have Graverix Live. And this is very similar to Graverix User in that it only allows people to run your automation. The difference here, however, is that the automation is published onto your website as a central location for everybody to access. 
With Graphics Live, we can also create dynamic 3D previews, which allow the end user to really get close and familiar with what they are ordering. This more or less makes it an incredible marketing tool on top of an order entry and CAD design automation tool. On the top right, we have Graverx Autopilot. This is essentially a generation server. Normally, we need to go into SolidWorks to generate output from Graverx, but with Autopilot, this happens automatically. Autopilot does so much more, however, and will automate your automation itself through a number of included tools. Finally, we have Graverx Pro Server, which is a free component that serves as a source control system, which we install onto an SQL server. Well, thanks for listening, and if you're looking for more information on Graverx, please don't hesitate to hit us up at Hawk Rig Systems. Yeah.